If you compare Flutter to some other frameworks which are used to develop mobile and even web apps, it's relatively young. However, even through this obstacle, is Flutter a viable solution for a current developer who wants to get a job or who wants to get freelancing clients? Because even though Flutter is really young compared to other frameworks, it's on the rise because of how many developers just love how Flutter works. So let's discuss if you can get some jobs and clients as a Flutter developer right now and in the near future. Hello, welcome to Reso Coder, where you are getting prepared for real app development by building better, faster, more stable apps. So subscribe and hit the bell if you want to grow your coding skills. Even though Flutter is a young framework, it really is on the rise because just recently it arrived at the 10th place of the most star repository on GitHub and being in the 10th place after just so much development like I'm not trying to trying to uh, put Flutter down because there is a lot of development going into it from Google of course because they are trying to push it as much as they can because they want to have dominance over all of the developers of course but still it's a good framework so I don't mind that kind of a dominance especially when it's open source but even though there is a lot of development going into it there is uh, comparably a lot of development going into other frameworks as well for example React Native there is a lot of development surely and still Vue is at the top of course Vue is not necessarily a mobile development framework although you can use something like native script or you can even use Ionic and run or create a hybrid app with Vue and there are possibly more solutions but those are just the two that I, I really know of and that are viable solutions if you want to develop with Vue. Vue is still at the top with over 150 thousand stars on github but flutter is at the 10th place so really even there you can see that flutter is more successful in terms of development uh, happiness developer happiness than uh, frameworks like ionic which have been around for longer of course uh, flutter also did not just pop out of nowhere it was for a long time in alpha beta and so on but uh, really developers started noticing Flutter the most only when it arrived at its first production uh, version, version 1.0.0 and now we even have version 1.10.0 coming around in just a little while. So developers are happy with Flutter but are also clients happy with Flutter because that's what you need to know if you want to be a Flutter developer and actually make some money out of it because uh, you can make your own apps you can say Flutter is awesome for development I really love it but if nobody's willing to pay you for that well that's of no use so can you get clients and jobs and make some money and help real people build real products when you are using Flutter? Yes, you can. You can absolutely do that. And I have a really simple test actually to test if a framework is viable. You know, there are sites like Upwork. I would not recommend Fiverr because that's like too uh, low cost site to use. But Upwork is uh, really the place, the marketplace where clients can hire freelancers and freelancers get, can uh, get clients. So if you go over to Upwork, you can just search for Flutter keyword and you are always going to be presented with a bunch of offers which are no more old than just a few days. So there are always and always new Flutter offers from clients which are who are seeking to build a Flutter app. They are popping up constantly. So even clients are acknowledging that Flutter is a viable solution and that applies even to clients who are not really tech savvy. When you have clients, think about that. When you have clients who are not really developers, who cannot develop an app, but they have heard about Flutter, they have read up on Flutter, and they, the non-tech savvy guys or girls, decide 
that they want to build their app in Flutter, that really speaks about something. There's got to be something going on in there. And of course, we as Flutter developers, we know that Flutter is amazing. But even if people outside of the developer realm acknowledge this fact that Flutter is something that they should build their apps in, that really speaks a ton. Actually, just recently I got contacted by a recruiter who was looking for a developer for a senior Flutter developer position in one company. So even companies are acknowledging that Flutter is good to build their apps in and they are even migrating their apps. And probably the best example of where or now you can get a job as a Flutter developer is Alibaba because one of their apps is completely built in Flutter and it's a huge money maker for Alibaba. And if you just check out the Chinese Flutter community, it's really prolific. It's just living in there. Flutter is huge in China. So even if you're in countries like China, you're probably not watching this video. That's sad. But even there, you can get jobs. So I really cannot see why you should not get jobs if you are from the US, Canada, UK, Europe, whatever. Wherever you are, India is huge. In Flutter, of course. Hello, Indians. So really, Flutter is a very viable solution. It's a mature framework by now. It still has some quirks, for example, uh, that there are still bugs, of course, but everything has bugs, but there are more quirks like it uh, still needs to have a more mature package system or not the system, but more mature packages and more of the packages, but it's really catching up. And uh, even once it gets to stable with Flutter web, so that you will be able to build Flutter web apps and you can really stand behind them that they are not going to break apart because it's going to be stable at some point, the Flutter web and even Flutter for desktop, then we will have real dominance of Flutter in the marketplace because uh, no matter what other developers say, if they like their HTML and CSS, if they like their freaking XML and doing all of that stuff on Android or whatever you are doing on iOS. I'm not an iOS developer, but even if those developers still do not want to acknowledge that Flutter is amazing, well, the marketplace will decide their fate. If you liked this video and if it helped you, give it a like and also share it with our developers who will benefit from it as well. And also please really hit the like button because it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you are not aware about it yet, there is an amazing Flutter conference taking place in Warsaw, Poland. It's called Flutter Europe and it's going to be taking place in January the next year, 2020 that is. So if you want to learn more about that, it's going to be packed with a bunch of awesome people. There are going to be people from Google. There's going to be a lot of speakers. It's going to be a two day event. I will be there. So if you want to meet up, just check out FlutterEurope.dev and also link is in the video description. Also, if you want to get curated list of Flutter news and resources, be sure to hop into flutter.education. That's an actual domain. So flutter.education and over there, I really do my best to select the best Flutter news and resources for you so that you can grow your Flutter development career. And also over there, you can subscribe to my mailing list if you want to get those awesome news and resources delivered weekly right into your mail inbox. Leave a comment if you have anything to say and see you in the next video.